This video is to show the usefulness and operation of installing a broadcast band uh, filter on the Flex 5000. So right now I'm staring at the AM broadcast band and I've got a very very strong very powerful station at, uh, at 780 and right now you're seeing nothing and the reason is I've got this filter here shown in the picture this Clifton Labs Z10020 uh, I've got the B version uh, installed in line with the RX1 in and out loop right here and currently it's activated if I turn it off for the Cubs and then Chris Bryant with the game the name broadcast band lights up in here about three o'clock Sometimes these signals are so strong they can actually raise the noise floor on a couple of the other bands. So I choose to leave it, unless I'm listening to the AIM broadcast band, I usually notch that out. And that notches out frequencies from around a little over 500 kilohertz up to just below the 160 meter band. This filter definitely works well on the 160 meter band. Doesn't cut out the signals at all, just, just keeps the noise floor down nice and low. And that's it.